knife crime, gang violence. Just a few phrases that have long been synonymous with the city of Glasgow. I'm here today to meet Mick, a man who knows the Glasgow gang scene better than anyone. There's different times, man. You used to get a fight every weekend. Or at least you'd get a chase, do you know what I mean? I was introduced to Mick's right-hand woman, Lisa, another pioneer in the fight to keep young team culture alive. It was just me and the boy. Now you built to the water there. We hash leaf. Keep it simple. Lisa and Mick have kindly invited me to hang out in one of their favourite spots in the scheme. Do you think it's a good thing that some of your friends have got jobs now and they're not like addicted to street drugs like cannabis? Aye, I'm glad he's got a job in that and he's after the green, but I mean he's probably drinking now. Drinking's worse. Drinks are bastard, man. Uh, you wake up the next day like, what was I doing? I've been a silly boy on the baby. <laughs> She's worse, but you stick all the Queen of Asbos. Do right, my man. They didn't even get Asbos anywhere. They used to be a famous thing. It's a sin. After spending the day with Mick and Lisa, I was taken in by their charm and passion for a culture that is slowly being forgotten. They were flawed and sometimes cruel, but they were fiercely loyal to one another. Loyalty? That's the main thing. Aye, 100%. See, people will tell you, I'm not a grass. It's more grass than Sahara Desert, mate. Do you ever worry that your involvement with the gang culture will, you know, impact your future? It's hard getting a job, mate, when you've got a record. I mean, you just bring it up and that's your stuff. Trapped a doing. Never mind a job. I'm trapped in this scheme. Anywhere beyond that, I'll do on the pays of the dress. Out of bounds. I personally believe that, you know, there's a, a strong correlation between areas of high deprivation and, you know, high crime rate. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I just can't believe you talk like that. Like what? Sorry. Like what? Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like I'm a politician or something. Okay, speaking of politicians, what do you think about local MPs introducing, you know, new initiatives to kind of reduce the violence in the city? Mate, these politicians, they, they get all the big boys, but who are they to tell us they stop their crime, do you know what I mean? Mm. Sitting in their big fancy houses, think they know what our life's like. Bet you Boris Johnson's never had to sleep in a wheelbarrow. Or have his more upon his PS2. Brand new PS2. It was at this point I realised the language barrier was much greater than I had anticipated. I didn't understand their words, but I understood something much greater, their passion. <laughs>